going to grill me some chicken and pork. Cole started. And I already have my chicken coated in olive oil and uh, seasoned with cavenders. Seven pieces of chicken. There was eight, but I cheated and then I cooked one and ate it for supper. And my boneless pork too, it's, it's already been seasoned and uh, olive oil spread on it. Coals look ready. It's over 300 degrees. Get the chicken on the pit. Spread them chicken flaps over, if they have any. I think they'll cook better with the flaps laid out flat. See how long it takes to get the chicken to internal temperature 165. It's been about 15 minutes. So I'm going to flip them. Nice grill marks. Yeah. Cook them a little longer. Been another ten minutes and uh Almost 165 when it and I put it to rest, it will go up to 165 a little more. Time to get the chicken off the grill. Looking good. I hope I have enough coals left to cook the pork loins. Temperature's still up pretty good. 
Now I'm going to start my boneless pork. About a half inch thick. Still got a, a good temperature starting out. It's been about 10 minutes at 380 degrees. I'm going to flip them. Oh, nice grill marks. Uh, juice. Cook them another six minutes. I don't want them to get too dried out. Shut the heat down a little bit. Internal temperature is over 140. There it is, 145. Good to go. Pork is done. Plate it up. It looks a little dry, but I like it that way. And you gotta go to the temperature. The temperature tells the truth. So you don't get sick. I got enough coals I could cook something else. Let me shut it off. Maybe I can save the coals. <laughs> 